All right, so supposedly a new custom firmware came out called 6.20 MAD-001 um, and 002. Um, well, they're fake. Yeah. They're shit. Because... All right, so first off, the install says to take the 6. Point, uh, the 6.20 update, official firmware update, rename it as 6.20 and put an update folder inside the um, game folder with the custom firmware eboot. Now, that comes up as corrupt data. Now, the, the 6.20 MAD-002, you it says make an update folder and put the eboot in there, but you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to leave it as it is. It's supposed to say... 620 mad-002 uh, for the folder and you get the little installer see that's the installer right there that's what it looks like but um, it doesn't really work and on the root of the memory stick that's where you want to put the official firmware 6.20 renamed as 630 I don't understand why but it's just that way and then you just start that up like this And it starts up, and it fades, and it actually starts a loader. Now, this is going to say custom firmware 6.20 MAD-002. Now, it says checking ms0 colon slash 630.pbp. This just will keep doing, you can let this sit here for a half hour, you can let it sit here for four hours, you can let it sit here for five minutes. No matter what fucking time you have this thing sitting here for, this will not do anything. And also to prove that it's fucking fake, um, when it's checking for this, you hit the home button, any installer that's custom firmware is exempting this process right here. You cannot hit the home button and be like, oh, alright, let's fucking get out of this installer and brick the PSP. And as you see, as if I exit it, nothing happens to my PSP. It's not bricked. So, yeah. 620 custom firmware mad is fake. Just to let you guys know. So, um, yeah. I don't think anybody's going to have any questions on this other than why do people bother to make fake custom firmware it's just to say hey I can make an icon um, but um, other than that that's about it so thanks for watching enjoy this review and uh, again questions leave me comments messages subscribe to my channel to keep up to date and um, furthermore, searches on newer custom firmwares, whether they be fake or not, I will have tutorials on them if they are real. If not, I will have a review on them and explain to you why they are fake. And other than that, take it easy, guys, and I'll talk to you later.